this spring, the University of Arizona Athletics is continuing their tradition, honoring a grade school teacher in Southern Arizona as their teacher of the year. We want you to meet this year's nine nominees. We're still going down the list. So this morning we're stepping into Jordan Castle's anatomy class at Canyon Del Oro High School. That's where we had this. I wanted a classroom to decorate. I can see him. Love that part. Even with all the cool animal models, posters, and TV quotes, every student here has their eyes on Ms. Castle and her lesson plan. She tells me the fun part is going from the board back to the lab tables. Because that's when the kids learn the most, is when they can actually get their hands on it and like break it down and apply the notes. Ornia. When we're doing dissections and they're taking pictures and other teachers are like emailing me or texting me saying like, the kids won't stop talking about this. It's just cool when that light bulb goes off for them. Jordan knows some of this material can feel daunting, especially when you're handling samples like this. But in her eight years at CDO, she's shown that her hands-on style and relatable approach bring students like senior Liam DiDepo back for another year of science class. She's one of the most transformative teachers I know. She's one of the few teachers I've ever had where like the main reason I come to school every day is to see her and talk to her. And just the environment she's created is different from almost any other teacher I've had. CDO principal Tara Boulay says the testament to Ms. Castle's passion and care is that she's inspired students to pursue careers in science when they go to college. Four or five kids that come back to you and say, because I loved your class so much, because you made it so fun and engaging, this is what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. You work a lot and you do a lot, and it's nice to be recognized and see that. Like, my principal sees that, and that kids also, also see that too. So it's very heartwarming. Well deserved congratulations for sure. Yeah, I mean she seems like a great teacher, but I don't know if I could dissect eyeballs. That's pretty wild. I, I was watching, observing her as she was kind of guiding the students through. It's just like you can approach it this way. Just and she gives them grace. She's just like I know this wow. is probably going to gross some of you out, but we're going to work our way through yeah. it. Uh, on the board, there's no liquids involved on a chalkboard. That's good, yeah. So we're going to share more <laughs> profiles of awesome teachers like Jordan throughout the next few weeks. U of A is going to reveal the big winner at the game at McHale March 2nd against Oregon. Should be very exciting.